Let us give all praise and all honors to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the whole for the legs. Shalom to the whole for the legs. Welcome to today's lesson. Okay. Today's lesson is on Sirach chapter 5. Uh, actually, this is a redo because I had made a. a made a video on on this uh, Sirach chapter 5, but you know, have you ever made a video and you make a mistake you know part way in, then you make another mistake, and, and then one moment that you say skip skip the whole video <laughs> and just skip the whole video, just do a whole another video so this is uh, Sirach chapter 5, we're going to start in verse 1 uh, uh, and thank you for tuning in okay so start off in verse one. Set thy heart upon thy goods, upon thy goods. What goods is that they're talking about? Set thy heart upon thy goods. The only real goods that you can be setting your hearts upon is this word, this truth. This is the real goods that we have. We don't have any other goods. Isaiah chapter 33, verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That is our, our good that we, we should be concentrating on more so than anything else, you see. And say not, I have enough for my life. For right. And say not that you have enough for your life because you don't know what's ahead. Don't not, neither one of us know exactly what's ahead of our lives. But one thing we do know is that these prophecies are playing out, you see. They're rolling out one right after the other. And so we know and have understanding of that. And also James chapter 4, um, verse 15. And say not that we're going to do this, that, or the other, but that if it be Yahweh's will, you see, that we're going to do one thing or another, or that we even have one thing or another for ourselves. Because remember, all things are up to who? Yahweh. He wanted to make the decision. So, uh, 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 Second Esther chapter 6, before he created anything, he first sat back and thought about it all. Okay? And so verse 2, follow not thine own mind. Okay? Follow not thy own mind. Why? Because the mind, the heart of the mind is deceitful. It can be easily tricked. You see, the mind can easily be hacked. You know, and there's so many different things that can mislead you. That can me mislead us all. We're all are subjugated. We're all are subjugated to what having these uh, 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 false doctrines and, and, and false beliefs come at us through other people, people that we love and we care for. You see, even our own mama can mislead us. Our own daddy can mislead us. Grandmama and granddaddy too. You see, you know, we have to go steadfast on the word. That's what we stand on. Okay, the word. And thy strength. Right. Don't stand on your strength. Because what strength do we have? We don't have any strength. We don't have any might. We don't have any, uh, 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 a seat on the world council. There is no Hebrew Israelite seat on the world council. You see, all the nations have taken counsel against us. Psalm chapter 83. You see, so we, we don't have any strength, any might, any voice. You see. We only have a voice with Yahweh by Shimei al as we use his word to hew down the enemy. You see, to chop them down and to bring them down the strongholds of the enemy. Okay? To walk in the ways of thy heart. Because if you're looking towards the, your strength of what you feel that you have, and the illusion is the different material things that we have that we feel is our strength. And we use these things to give us a false sense of security. You see, and that's what it is. And we'll walk in the ways and the beliefs of based on what we have. And we let that make the, we, we let that to be the measure of a man. But what you have is not your true measure. You see? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshah has given each and every man and woman a level of faith. According to what Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to use that man for, and to the reason why either not every man can preach, not every man can teach, not every man can reach, not every man has the uh, 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 finesse uh, 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 and vernacular of speech, not every man has the diatribe that's proper, you know, and clean and neat, 
You see, not every man can can speak the words of, that are proper of the Lord. You see, some men can only just be helpers. You see, and that's all they can do. You know, help give a brother a transportation ride to the uh, uh, the camp and different things, and uh, help you know another brother a uh, uh, buy a robe or, or a Bible or something or give you know you know you know. There, there, there are different ways and different things in which your brother can help. You know, different things we can do. Verse three, and say not, who shall control me for my works? You see, and if we you have a lot of brothers. You have some brothers in this truth. That feel that because of their works that they've done, that they're Mr. Guru under the sun. You can't tell them a thing. They think they, you know, you, you got some guys that like to play a uh, comic board police. They study monitoring them with the comic board and making sure everybody be in check and be in point. But brother, are you in check? Are you on point? Remember this. Moses was Yahweh's most greatest faithful servant. You see, most reliable that Jehovah could depend on. Yet, he did not make it to go over into the promised land. How come? How come? Because he erred. He erred. And so my question to, uh, to all of you is this. This is a real simple question. Are you greater than Moses? Are you? Ask yourself. Ask the other brother to stand in the count and on the line up with you. Are you more greater than Moses? You see, you got to ask yourself this. If you are more greater than Moses, then I got another question for you. Then what is and what will be your error that maybe prevents you from rising up into the chariots? Okay. Okay. Think about that. Think about that while you're being a guru. You see, for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride, because some of you brothers got pride on you. You got pride stacked on top of pride. You know what I'm saying? Looking like an afro, you got so much pride. You know what I'm saying? It's not a halo. It's an afro, an afro of pride. It's gonna be cut off with some clippers, guaranteed. You see, y'all by shim y'all shine. See verse four. Say not, I have sinned. Say not, I have sinned. You know, ain't that something? Say not, I have sinned because the way some, some people act, they, they, they act like they ain't, they ain't sinned or they ain't done nothing. They ain't done nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? But they can always point something else out on somebody else. The Lord made it clear. Before you can get a twig out of another brother's eye, first get that log out of your eye that's growing and that's done festering and grow like a tree. You know see? Right out your eyes. You need to clear that out. And I think you can take some herbs for that. Okay? And what harm had happened unto me? You see? What harm? See, because some brothers believe that there's no type of harm or anything or any judgment that, that can come to them. You see? Think again. Uh, 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 Ezekiel chapter 9. Verse 5 through 7, Yahweh Shai said, Start ye first in my sanctuary. Slaughter utterly both old and young. You know what I'm saying? Because some have creeped, creeped into the uh, camps unawares. And they're standing right beside good brothers that's pushing his truth. But the bad brother is not a, a, a prophet. It's not a good brother. It's a false prophet, not a good prophet misleading the good prophets because of the comments and different uh, uh, mannerisms that they display. And see, that, that are risque. Okay? And so, but we got to stay stand fast in the word. Stand stand fast on what Yahweh HaShem Shah has set forth for us to do. Don't worry so much about what another brother's doing, but what are, worry about but what you was doing. Because what are you going to do when Yahweh Shah going to come visit you? What are you going to be doing? Are you going to be investing your talent? The Lord says, we occupy ourselves unto uh, studying and reading. You know, again, pushing his truth and doing the work of the and will, and will of the Lord. That's what we ought to be doing. Nothing else. You see, are you going to be pushing his truth? When the Lord shows up, you want to be uh, doing your work and then be steadfast. When the Lord say, he, he said, when he comes, shall he find uh, a faith? Is he going to find any faith? Yes, he's going to find faith in his men. His brothers, he's going to find faith in us. We're the ones he's going to find faith in, you see. 
And so, so a lot of you brothers that's 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 on uh, 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 on your duffs sitting on your butt, your house shall say they're gonna sift uh, uh, the uh, 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 Jerusalem with, with a candle. You see, looking for you fools. They're sitting up doing nothing. We hear that you're supposed to be teaching. You see, Yahweh Shah said daily I was in the temple teaching daily. You see, because the sheep must be fed. You see, they must be fed. You see, and so for the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. You see, you see. In no wise will he let you go. You see, even those brothers that like to turn, uh, like to let go of the plow and turn, turn away from this truth, especially during the holiday time, because that's usually the time when brothers want to, they want to get into that, 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 that holiday spirit. They want to, the, the holiday spirit of, uh, 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 who the Santa Claus and, 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 and the little elves and, uh, and frost day, the snowman. <laughs> they want to do all that, right? And so, but uh, you, you, you know, the thing of it is, remember, all that was a trick and a lie back then when we were kids, and it's still a trick and a lie right now. And you had to stay steadfast, you know, teach the children the truth. There ain't no, there ain't no Santa Claus, and, and, and Jesus is a lie, you see? And so flat out, and teach them the truth. Verse 5, concerning perpetuation. Perpetuation is a word that, uh, uh, that mean, uh, is similar to pleasing. Pleasing, trying to appease a deity or or a god or, or some person or, or, or organization, concerning perpetuation, perpetuation, perpetuation. Okay, be not without fear to add sin unto sin, and that's the way it is for uh, 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 many, uh, many people because they so much want to appease other people that they don't watch and pay attention to what they're doing, and they add and sin on top of sin, and they can easily you you can easily uh, 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 be on a job and uh, uh, and be a, a chain of fools. You can be another link in a chain of fools and be sinning right along with everybody else. You see, because you're trying to fit in. Never mind trying to fit in with society, with what they're doing on the job, with what they're doing at home, with what they're doing, you know, in, you know, uh, uh, in, in your family. Because remember, Yahweh I made it clear, this is my mother, this is my brother. Talking about the disciples, the brothers in the camp. That's your family, you see. That's your family. That's where we ought to go, you see, at all times. You go to your family. Go to your brothers in the camp, you see, because that's our family. Verse six, and say not. You know what? You know what? Uh, I want to take this time to remind you to press the like button, okay? That that helps out for the algorithms of this YouTube channel, and also, uh, uh, if you would please uh, press the subscription button if you haven't already. Go ahead and press the, the subscription button, and press the not the no little notification bell because that's going to help you to receive special notification alerts each time that I release a new video for your spiritual edification. And also, hopefully, you receive your, uh, uh, some precepts may come to mind that you can use uh, to put together with some, uh, any other precept uh, that you may have that you can make a video that you may feed the sheep. Because as good shepherds of the Lord, as always, our job is to feed the sheep. We must provide good grazing uh, 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 grounds for uh, pastures for the sheep to graze, okay? And uh, the water ever so much. Now, let's, let's get back into this. This is verse 6. And say not, his mercy is great. Because the Lord mercy, see, the Lord made it clear. Uh, uh, um, um, the Lord made it clear, Romans chapter uh, 9, uh, verse 15 through 18. That it is not to he who runs to the race the fastest or the strongest or the hardest or whom is even the smartest. You see, that's not the thing. The thing of it is, is it is Yahweh whom has mercy and compassion upon whom he chooses to save. It's not up to us. You see, so when you're looking at another brother and you're thinking about how he can, can be doing, he can be doing this and doing that. Well, maybe he's doing what he can based on the, the faith that Yahweh has given him, the measure of faith that the, in which Yahweh is using him to do what Yahweh has him doing. As to the reason why Yahweh has you doing what you're doing. 
okay? We have to remember that, okay? Each and every brother has a slot. We are all stones, lively stones, that the chief cornerstone, Yahweh is using to rebuild the temple, okay? The temple that, that's being made not of, of brick and mortar, but of hands and spirit, righteous spirit, you see? And that being us, the chief cornerstone, you see? You see? And so remember that. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. You see, see, because our sins are piled up, remember, from from our past life all the way to this life. Our sins have have heaped up. But those of us that are hopeful elects, and we are hoping that we are those men. We are here doing this work. We do we uh 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 first p uh uh first p second Peter's uh, chapter uh, one verse ten. We do our due diligence to show that the calling of our election is assured. Okay, because we want to make for, for sure that we're doing the right things in this truth, and that Yahweh Yahweh would have mercy and compassion upon us, and that there no there's no guile found in our mouths is because of the precious blood of Yahweh Shai that we have been adopted back unto the Father, you see. So those of us that are doing this truth, pushing this truth, doing the work and will of the Lord, we, we are clean. We are, Our robes have been made clean, washed and dipped in the blood of Yahweh Shai, you see, of Yahweh Shai, you see, the precious holy lamb of Yahweh, you see, you see. For mercy and wrath come from him, you see. It comes from him. It comes from Yahweh. Mercy on Deuteronomy chapter what thirty two verse uh, uh, thirty nine. I do believe that is the Lord said He killed, He wounded, and he, and he bring to life. You see, He does all these things. He is the one that that has the mercy and wrath and all these things. It all plays out based on what Yahweh has written. We are in Yahweh's movie physically. Everything is already played out in the spiritual world. We're just playing it out in the physical world. Okay, we all doing our part. This says Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And his indignation resteth upon the sinners. You see? It resteth upon the sinners, upon the head of the sinners. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will recompense upon the head of the sinners all which is what the judgment and wrath that is due unto the sinners. Because the Lord is going to clean their, their, their out of the earth the sinners. You see, you see, and don't let nobody uh, fool you into, into believing, oh, he loved the sinner. He just hates the sin. No, you and you and the sin both is in trouble. OK, you're both in trouble. Verse seven, make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Why? Well, don't wait. Don't wait. Eat this roll, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 3. And then Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Go out and warn our people. Let them know that they're on a, a wicked path, the wrong path. They need to uh, turn from that path. Repent to the Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, and at least ye be destroyed. You see? And come on to this righteousness where the Lord is waiting. You see? For those that he has chosen, you know, he made it clear in John chapter 17. Verse nine, verse nine, that he has not lost any of the, any of us. We are thine, that Yahweh has given unto Yahweh Shai. You see, you see, you see. And put not, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the Lord, the wrath of the Lord, come forth. And this is true. This is what the, this is what's going to happen and carry out. You see, as these prophecies play out and we get deeper and deep, deeper into uh, uh Yaka's troubles we you, you see over they, they got the battleships uh, uh the uh, 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 uh over there in uh, from America over there in uh, uh uh near Gaza in Israel over there in the Gulf waiting to do damage but at the same time the uh, Iran Libya Syria you know they are all ready to uh, to uh, to, to uh, uh, attack America and Israel, plus all the sleeper sales that uh, Iran, Li uh, 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 Libya, Yemen, have Syrians have over here in America, plus the uh, uh, domestic sleeper sales that are already here, plus the United Nations uh, 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 soldiers that are here, 
You see, because we had a lot of soldiers and terrorists that came in with the migrants. You see, you see, you see, 30 percent migrants, 70 percent terrorists and soldiers. You see, these are the things that's been coming in across the border and they're already here. You're already here. And in thy security, you see, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. You see, because when you least expect it, when they declare martial law, people's going to wonder how come, how come in just a, a moment, say, for instance, they declare martial law at uh, uh, seven o'clock in the evening. By 730 already, uh, martial law police will be kicking in people's doors and going in, beating and raping uh, the women and children and grabbing up the young men, shooting, killing and whomever they want and gathering the young men up for the draft. Okay. They take them out, out to the FEMA camps and, and to the boot camps over in, in New York to get where they, they, they've been training the soldiers for over there in Ukraine. Take them there for the boot camp training and then take them over to Ukraine for even further, even further training and put them on the front lines and use them as human shields. You see? So once you see the young men rounded up you know, on those long uh, 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 prison buses, two a prison buses, once you see them load up on there, they're not uh, uh, getting back off. You're not going to see them. They're not returning. They're going to the battlefield. They're going to their deaths. And on the battlefield, they're going to be using microwavable weaponry, gamma rays. You see, these young men are going to be getting cooked. Their insides are going to be getting cooked. And they're down in their foxhole, down in their barracks. Their insides are going to be getting cooked. You see, it's all types of weaponry that's going to be used. You see. And perish in the day of vengeance, in the day of the Lord's vengeance. He makes it clear, uh, Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you who wait on the day of the Lord. For what end is it to you? For the day of the Lord is the day of darkness and no light. You see, roughly paraphrasing. It's no light at all. It's going to be darkness, devastation, all types of raft judgment all around, lawlessness. It's not going to be any lights, gas, or water. It's not going to be any uh, 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 gasoline for commuting, in, in not any uh, 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 natural gas for uh, uh, cooking or heating. All these things are going to be shut down. No police services, fire department, or ambulance services. No 911. 911 shut off. You see, what are you going to do? You see, what do you see? You see. And so many of you need to get yourselves right, proper, and now. And stop waiting. You see? You see? You see? You see? And for, them, and for some of you brothers that's inside the camps, you know, and you feel that you uh, missed a guru, think again. Be careful on how you handle the brothers that's coming in, 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 in just coming in, into the truth, because uh, 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 some of these brothers are, in fact, hopeful elects, and you got to watch how you treat them, because you could, you could chase them away, and, uh, and, and, and Yahweh shall be angry with you, because Yahweh made it, Yahweh shall made it clear, he has not lost one, now one of us, and so be careful how you treat the brothers that are coming into the camp, you know, me, and me, me, I, I, I've been pushing this truth for, for about 10 years now, you see, the only reason why I'm not down there at uh, 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 GMS Detroit right now is because I'm low vision blind and I'm a shut in, you see, and I use I'm usually uh, 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 escorted everywhere I go, you see, and so, but still, the time gonna come when the Lord's gonna have me down there at the camp. But at the same time, remember the Lord is about to bust up all the camps, and and many of the brothers that's been faking it. The way you're going to find out if uh, if a brother is a real brother in this truth, because when each and every one, each and every one of us had to stand alone without a camp buddy, you know, with, without rubbing elbows and stuff with your camp buddy, getting the strength and motivation and, and inspiration, you got to stand by yourself in pushing this truth. You see, when the time comes, Amos chapter eight verse eleven, when there's the famine of the word, that's when not one of us can be able to go out, you know, on the highways and the byways. You know, I go out on the highways and the byways in the different times when I do in my comings and in, in my goings. That's when I uh, 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 push the truth to people that I come in contact with. I don't have a soapbox that I normally just stand at, you know, and so that's the reason again why I make these videos pushing the truth daily. We push the truth. You see. Because if, 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 if you got to be pushed, and I'm low vision blind and I'm an older guy, but still I do something to push this truth because even with your handicaps, even with your affliction, you still must what try, 
try to push this truth the best you can. You see, because if Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, Matthew chapter 13, if he gives you the understanding, the understanding comes from on high, then guess what? You got to do something with that talent. You can't just sit and hold it. You can't just bury it. You see, otherwise, Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, when he comes, he'll just cast you off into utter darkness. You see? And take away from you the talent that he gave you and give it to the brother that had 10. You see? That's the reason why no matter what you got to get up, get up off your butt and make it happen. Captain, you see? Verse 8. Set not thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten. Right. Because if you notice a thief, in John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief come but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I come that you may have joy and abundance of it, life and abundance of it. You see? The thief, if you notice a thief, anytime, anything that a thief steals, he can't keep it. Hey, a thief can't keep names. Uh, name a thief that um, stole something. He still got it. They, they, they got to get rid of it because they can't keep it. Either they, they tear it up and break it or they sell it right quick. The only thief that still got something that Esau is Edom. In Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. If a man steals another man and sells him or if he still be found in his possession, then surely that man should be put to death. So that who was so Esau is Edom should be put to death because his blood must be shed for the blood that he has shed it, okay, upon the land. He has defiled the, the land, this land, America, okay, with the our blood that he has shed it. Therefore, in order for the, the, the this land to, to be cleansed, it must be cleansed by the blood of him who shed the blood, which is Esau is Edom. Revelation, uh, 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 Re Revelation chapter 13, uh, uh, verse 9, 10, and 11. He who has an ear, let him hear. Uh, he who leadeth in the captivity must go into captivity. He who killeth with a sword must also be killed with a sword. And this is the patience of the saints. You know what I'm saying? We know for a fact who led us into captivity. Esau, yes, Edom. Therefore, he too must but go into captivity. He too must become our slaves, you see, in the kingdom. You see, he who killed with a sword must also be killed with a sword. Who it is, Esau is Edom's blessing. Okay, Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. It's his blessing, the sword and the fatness of the land. Okay? And so, but he's going to have to, what? Face judgment. When the time comes, when Esau is Edom, got his, faith, his, his plate filled up, and he's ready to eat and devour what he thinks that he has heaped up unto himself, Yahweh Shah is going to show up to knock it all out of his hands. You see, knock the spoon right out of his hands. You see? You see? So this is the patience of the saints. You see? For they shall not profit thee, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. Right? Because many of you is not going to be able to even make it back to your bug out spot where you think you got everything hyped up and heaped up. It's okay to have a few little things, but when you get, you get carried away and you uh, is depending on this to be your only main thing and not your how about shimmy all shot, then guess what? Think again. You see? Because all your goods are going to be spoiled by the marauders. You see? And the uh, 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 different militia groups. Okay? And the soldiers. Okay. Okay. And the niggas in the neighborhood. Okay. And so, remember, when there's no more food in the grocery stores, convenience stores, gas stations, and, and liquor stores, and all these things, then that's when you're going to have what? You're going to have guys going, uh, 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 and there's going to be curfew, no vehicles allowed on the road. Okay. And then you uh, guys going to be going all the way in between the alleys and all in between the houses. You see, busting into people's houses, especially you women with children. The the guys remember that y'all be getting food stamps a week, so they gonna think y'all got food. They gonna think you old people got a uh, 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 uh, focus hope. You see, you see, you see, you see. So we knew not with every wind. You see, blowing with every wind because because many of you are just a hot air, blowing, and go not into every way. You see. Don't go into every way because the Lord made it clear. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. The way of the Lord. That's the way you're supposed to walk. For so doeth the sinner that hath a double tongue. Because the double tongue of a sinner goes what? Both ways. You see? You don't know whether they're coming or going. You can't trust what they say because they say one thing and do another. You see? They're, that's the way some brothers have become in the camp. And you got to watch them. You see, you got to watch them. We're going to read a few more of these and close it out, okay? 
This is a verse 10. Be steadfast in thy understanding. You see? Be steadfast in understanding. Really take the time to consider different things in your, your understanding. And, 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 and King Solomon made it clear. Out of all things of thy getting, get understanding. You see? You see? And let thy word be the same. You see? Let your word be the same. Don't be double-minded. Don't be double-shifted. Don't be like a boat being battered by the waves of, of, of the storm. Be steadfast and study. Verse 11. Be swift to hear. You see? Be swift to hear. Take your time to hear. Faith come by hearing, and hearing come by the words of Yahweh. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. You see? You see, and let thy life be sincere, you see, in the Lord, not contentious, you see, but sincere and with patience. That means suffering. Give answer. You see, give answer. Verse 12. We can close it out after this. If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. Right. With this word, it's true. Some of you brothers that's, that that's been in the truth for six six months or more, you you have enough understanding to teach something. You, you see, you have enough uh, 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 understanding to give them some answer to some of some of the questions that they may have. If you don't know something, don't try to wing it. Don't botch it. Just say you don't know, and to uh, 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 that's something that you haven't studied yet. But you 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 are going to study, and you're going to get back to them with the answer. You understand? You know what I'm saying? But again, remember, that's the reason why 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, we study to show ourselves approved. Why? Because it's important that we study to show ourselves approved because that's how you have your relationship with Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Yahweh made it clear. Yahweh Shai made it clear. My sheep, they hear me. They know my voice and they follow me. You see, that's the reason why we study. We are become cloaked with this word, you see, that we're not a strange vine, a withering plant. But we are nourished with the word all the time. And flowing from our bellies is the everlasting flowing waters of uh, of this truth and this knowledge. You see? You see? Answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. You see? Just like that. Upon them because either you know it or you don't. Either you got the 100% truth or you don't. But don't try to wing it. If you don't know something, hey, let them know that you haven't studied that yet. You, uh, When you get to it, you'll get, get, you, you, you get back with them with the answer. But put your hand over your mouth if you don't know because it's better that you don't say anything that others know don't know that you don't know anything, that you open your mouth and others can clearly see that you will know a damn thing. And remember, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 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 14, verse 7. Go ye from him, once ye have perceived that there is no knowledge that proceeded from his lips. Once you have determined that there is no knowledge that proceeded from a brother's lips, once you see that the brother has no diatribe, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 27, uh, 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 praise ye no man until you've heard his diatribe, for that is the trial of a man. His diatribe, that's how you know what he's thinking, you see? That's how you know whether he's farther or closer away or to or from uh, salvation by what he speaks what comes out of his mouth, you see? So, uh, so... We're going to go ahead and, and, and end the video off right there, okay? Lord's willing that you were edified by today's lesson, and it provoked you to thought and uh, 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 brought about thoughts or precepts that you can use to put together to make a, a video that you can edify the uh, uh, the sheep because the sheep must be fed daily. And Yahweh Shah made it clear in the temple, I was with thee teaching daily, you see? And so we should be teaching daily and studying all the time to show ourselves to prove to who Yahweh, a workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You understand? You understand? So I'm going to also take, uh, like to take the time to remind you to press the like button that helps out for the algorithms of this YouTube channel. And also press the subscription button. If you haven't already, press the subscription button and press the notification bell. And then this will uh, allow you to receive a notification each time that I release a, a new video for your spiritual edification. And so, and we'd like to take the time to, uh, I also like to uh, 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 take the time to uh, remind you uh, that my name is Mashaba. 
I'm your Hebrew Israelite brother here in the city of Detroit. And we'd like to, tell you, like to give all honor and all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Stay strong, brothers. Hey, keep, keep, keep going on. Keep pushing this truth. No matter what the enemy say, remember, the enemy is on a slippery slope that they cannot, slippery, oily slope that they cannot. Uh, 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 gain any traction against you. They, they, the heathens, they envy you, but they can do nothing against you. No matter what, stay strong, keep your head up, and keep focusing forward, and stay steadfast to this word, and keep studying, and have the right answer for a brother or a sister when they are concerned, when it's concerning this truth. Be ready, and maintain your focus on doing what? Trimming your ways. Remember to trim your ways that you may uh, uh, enter into the gates and shake the hands of the nobles so that, that, so that you can push this truth. You understand? You see? And so stay strong and uh, we ain't got long and uh, 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 just take the time to stay focused, okay, and keep doing the right things, okay? So we're going to say Shalom unto the hopeful elects, okay? Shalom.